What's up gang, welcome back for another It's Always Sunny video. I'm looking forward to some more good times with you all in this one. I'm going to assume that this episode is going to go back to kind of like the contained, isolated episode style that we've been accustomed to since they kind of wrapped everything up in the last episode with that continuing story. But I'm looking forward to whatever chaotic shenanigans they get into in this episode. And they brought back several side characters recently, introduced some new ones and so i wonder if they're going to bring back some more in this episode we will find out soon enough but if you guys enjoy watching along with me for this episode definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel grow you can check out the full length reaction to these on patreon link for that is in the description below and those are always uploaded before the youtube edits but of course you'll need your own copy of the show to watch along with me there but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into episode three thank you so much much for taking the time to meet with us yes this shouldn't take long uh -uh. so you'd like to buy a boat <laughs> oh i like where this is going man and i know this is going to end badly every time they have a meeting with somebody it just turns into chaos twenty five hundred dollars flush taste a little bit of the high life absolutely we've also talked our friend here into throwing his entire life savings into the venture <laughs> Oh, no, Charlie, dude, why do you fall for these things? They always just freaking use him. Now, I have the need for speed. It's very important. It's inherent. There's nothing I can do about it, so speed is a must. But we are also looking to entertain guests upon this boat. <laughs> They're not going to be able to afford what they want. I also love that quote from Mac as well. It seems like what you guys are looking for is some sort of uh, P. Diddy style shrimping vessel. All right, that's you're a really good listener, and I didn't peg you for one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's just clowning on him and they don't even realize it. Well, here she is. We've had our hearts set on this boat thing for days now, which in our world is a level of focus in which I personally have never experienced. <laughs> That's so accurate. We've seen how up and down they are. It's taking way too long. We wanted to buy a boat. Let's well, get the It was the taking a little while because I was doing a little presentation that, that was going to someone into... walks down the deck and makes an offer. <laughs> Now, just what he was saying that they do, they are doing right now. They got too impatient and they're jumping in. My friends here, they couldn't wait for that. Yes, we're, 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 we're taking the boat. <laughs> what a horrible investment. I mean, it's not the worst looking boat. It's pretty bad though, but I have a feeling they might be able to turn it into something good, at least for a little while, especially if they get Frank involved. His ideas usually can transform a situation. Is the entire episode gonna take place out at sea? That would be pretty interesting. Change of pace for sure. What a score. Houseboat, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the houseboat offers all the advantages of a house, but with the excitement of the sea. <laughs> Dennis should be a boat salesman, not that other guy. He has me wanting to jump in and buy a boat. Picture tiny shrimp oh. crawling all over this boat. Every okay, can we not focus on the shrimp? Because we have so much work to do. It's a shrimp boat. I'd like to have at least one conversation about shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Charlie is locked into the shrimp idea. I mean, we saw how terrible he was fishing for crabs, so I don't know how good he'd be at shrimp. Actually, Frank and Charlie, I want you to start by scraping the barnacles off the bottom of the boat, while Dee and Mac and I go to the inside and check out the decor situation. <laughs> Dude, even on a boat, Charlie is stuck doing Charlie work. Poor guy. I also love that Frank is immediately bought in. This isn't Diddy-esque at all. No. Guys, crazy? This boat is awesome. <laughs> Oh no, dude. She is making the boat look even worse with her dance moves. That's what he did, a boat dance. Uh. You look like one of those inflatable dancing things at the used car lot. The ones that flail around in the wind. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mac is spot on with that. She does. How is everyone in the group such a bad dancer except Charlie? Since you didn't invest any money in this venture, you're going to be the one that's got to do all the hard labor here. Make the boat look nice. Whoa, okay? whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hey, that's a fair trade right there. She's got to start pulling her weight, and she's certainly not doing it by dancing. What the hell are you guys doing? We're loading our gear. You should be scraping, yes. okay? So scrape. Well, we're going to scrape the boat. We are going to scrape the boat. Are you patronizing me? Don't patronize me. Don't do that. <laughs> Mac gets so offended so easily. This is already falling apart and it's so early in the episode. Okay, now that is a direct order from your captain. I just wanted you to the captain. Clearly I'm the captain. Uh, Who else would be the captain? I feel like I, I would be the captain, Dennis. I don't give a... <laughs> 
Dennis, the classic disinterest with the group politics. I feel like there's gonna be a mutiny soon. We're gonna take it out into the ocean. We're gonna get some oysters. <laughs> All right, toss it again. There you go. Yep. yep. <laughs> I knew as soon as he pulled that out, those were going in the water. Frank's aim is terrible. They're never getting this boat out of here. Jump in the no, ocean I'm and get the damn in. keys! No, 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 no. Charlie, I'm not going in. I'm gonna use your boat, son of a <laughs> Oh, he actually is going in there. I don't think he's gonna be able to find it, though. I also love that Frank just went for the old boss nass move, shaking his lips. His life belongs to me now. Really expensive. Oh, picked us up some new slacks and dock siders so we could have the right look, you know, and fit in and everything. We're running pretty low on remaining dictile money, though. <laughs> Dictile money, so they actually did make some money. People bought that product. That's incredible. The whole purpose of buying the boat in the first place was to get the ladies nice and tipsy topside. They can't refuse because of the implication. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> what does that mean? What implication? I love that that's the motivation, of course. There's nowhere for me to run. Okay, that, <laughs> <laughs> that seems really dark. The girl said no, then the answer obviously is no. No. But the thing right. is, is she's not gonna say no. <laughs> Den is going full psychopath mode right here. He's even scaring Mac. What implication? The implication that things might go wrong for her if she refuses to sleep with me. But it sounds like she doesn't want to have Why sex Why aren't you with understanding? <laughs> love this conversation and they're just having it in the middle of a store too nobody can understand the method to dennis's madness well don't you look at me like that you certainly wouldn't be in any danger so they are in danger no one's in any danger how can i make that any more clear to you okay it's an implication of danger <laughs> That was a hilarious moment. I freaking love the pen to the lady just listening in. He's getting more and more sketchy as the show goes on as well. Dude, there's so much cool shit down there. I keep diving looking for it. I need a flashlight because it's dark. Flashlight coming up. Toss it to me real quick. <laughs> <laughs> is he just trolling him now? Dude, he's not even close both times. I also love how easily Charlie gets interested in something, can find joy in anything. Mac and Dennis are making me clean up. We should gut it. Alright. Here we go. Start with this beautiful baby here. Oh no, it's demo day for Frank in here. I don't think that's gonna end well. He's gonna do something that's gonna sink the boat, I know it. It ain't good. Wow. <laughs> Dennis and Max should not have left the two people who had no investment in the boat alone there. Informing her decision as to whether she sleeps with me or not. That, that's all I'm saying. You know, it's not like a big thing. Or anything, just, uh -huh. Look, I need you to understand this, okay? <laughs> I like that he's so worried about Max's interpretation of his implication now. He's trying so hard to make him understand. You were supposed to be fixing it up and making it look nice. Crew meeting, okay. where's Charlie? He's in the water. What is he doing in the water? <laughs> oh, dude, has a full collection. I love it. They are freaking set with his deep diving scores. And then there's like a pirate ship. Like, I found all these old pretty little dolls. She's pretty, right? Maybe like a brush, like a, like a pirate. <laughs> Dude was just fishing up all the things D was throwing out. That's amazing. It's the circle of life. Why are you swimming in the water in the first place? He dropped the keys in the now, First of all, he threw the keys at me overhand. Leave you guys alone for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how quick the gang can ruin a situation. I'm not even surprised though. We'll clear all this stuff off. By the time you guys are coming back, I promise you the boat will be looking better. You can't oh, patronize on, your on, captain. That's, that's, that's a sea law. <laughs> That's a sea law, he says. What a phrase. This is a great episode, man. A dock party mixer, dude. That's what we need to be doing. We need to be mixing it up at mixers with other boat people and living the lifestyle. That's Stevie Nicks. Yeah, so uh, that's actually Steve Winwood. Same dude, right? Actually, one's not even a dude. <laughs> Jeez, I love their little conversations they have. I'm afraid if they go there and Dennis interacts with women now, though, he's scaring me. We're spending too much money as it is. It's bad enough I let you buy that stupid inflatable guy from the car lot. <laughs> they actually did get one. Oh my gosh. D is gonna get shown up. That thing dances better than her. Dish, you're never gonna believe what I just found floating off the end of the boat. Okay, I'm scraping those little delicious hey, oysters hey. off the bottom, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> Delicious! He actually was eating them! Disgusting, Charlie! How is this man alive? We're not gonna be doing any of the work. No, we got a party to get ready for. We're gonna do all the work while you guys go to a party? I can socialize. Not looking like you're looking. You're covered in paint and dirt and grime. <laughs> And they're also looking incredibly sunburned after such a short time, too. There's your, uh, there's your scuba gear. Find the keys. Let's find them. Oh, guys, keep up the good work. <laughs> there's that classic motivational speech from a captain. Guess who found the keys? The keys found the keys! Dude, they were just floating under the boat! This is amazing, by the way, these floaty things. We should patent this. <laughs> I didn't think they would ever recover them. Good job, Charlie. I love that this boat has just turned into a small encapsulation of the bar life. Flyer at the boat's store. Oh, do we have the wrong yacht? No, 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 no. Come on in, grab a drink. We're just getting warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> they were ready for a much more high-class party. The other guys seem nice, though. These are real men of the sea. Maybe it's about having an adventure, you know? An open ocean adventure. Take a look at this guy. How'd he lose that hand? I bet you it was some kind of crazy adventure, right? <laughs> <laughs> and now he's on to something. At least Max looking for the positives. How'd you lose that hand? Diabetes. Oh, that's not uh, much of an adventure, is it? <laughs> He says that to him. Oh my gosh, the audacity. The sea life is not as luxurious as they were hoping. I think we're just gonna take off though. We're just getting warmed up. We're gonna have a couple of tasty treats out there. We're gonna be out on open ocean. Anything can happen out there. <laughs> Oh no, he's doing the old Dennis move. The implication of bad things happening. Okay, that was an implication, right? That was definitely the implication. Tasty treats? Are we the tasty we're treats? We're the tasty treats in this scenario. Yes, we're the tasty treats. <laughs> Of course they're the tasty treats. Oh, that's hilarious. I love that we've come full circle. The moment you've all been waiting for. Yeah, ladies! Wait a second, what? <laughs> Their smiles. I can't believe it actually worked out for them. That never happens. This is boat music. Yeah, this is the kind of music you gotta listen to. I am learning some amazing moves from this guy. <laughs> She is doing a great job. She's almost perfectly in unison. That was such a magnificent shot right there. Did you guys ever find those keys? I did, can you believe that? Get the hell out of there because uh, we're gonna be bringing back a couple of tasty treats. I'll get right on that. That's how you patronize someone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they got the freaking win after all over them. Don't toss this it's crap anyway. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> No, Charlie! Going so well for their side. And now he's just gonna destroy the entire boat. Out into the sea. You can make rash decisions based on fear. Right, Dennis? Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Out of my way! That fish sniffing at my heels endangered my ass! <laughs> oh, these guys barely survived. They're gonna be so mad at Charlie. The thing is still wiggling around and dancing. <laughs> oh, man, what an explosive end to that adventure. That was a great episode, man. I haven't really seen one like that before in the show up to this point, especially just because they were at sea most of the time. I freaking love that we get another deep dive into the psyche of Dennis in this episode, though. We got a bit of a tease with the Dennis system, and now we learn more of the darker side of it even more dark than before. <laughs> Another great thing about this episode is I feel like everybody got kind of like a super entertaining moment for their character, which often happens, but I feel like this one was accentuated even more. We got Charlie deep diving and doing all sorts of crazy stuff in the water and on the boat. We got Dee doing her ridiculous dance, like the car dealership thing, whatever you call it. And then we also got Dennis just being an absolute psychopath and so we got a lot of great moments and I love how they go in just a few minutes from getting a boat to somewhat making it livable or usable to just absolutely burning it to the ground and so just like always they end up back where they started by the end of the episode but at least with this one they have a few pretty good stories
stories to tell. I hope that's not the last time they try and live a sea life, but with how bad this went, I could see that being the case. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching along with me for this episode. If you did, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Helps the video reach a lot more people, helps the channel grow. Of course, you can check out the full length reaction to this episode on my Patreon link for that is in the description below. Of course, you'll need your own copy of the show to watch along with me. But until the next video, I will see you all later. Peace. Thank you.